Three and a half hours into today's flight, the Soyuz will automatically execute the first of several orbital adjustment burns planned as the vehicle fine-tunes its path to the International Space Station. The crew was awakened at about 11.35 a.m. Central Time this morning, 10.35 p.m. local time in Baikonur, about nine hours prior to launch. The crew members then participated in final pre-launch activities. Before departing for the launch pad, three crew members observed a long-standing tradition of autographing the doors of the Cosmonaut Hotel in Baikonur, Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. You can see uh, the crew doing that here, again, uh, autographing the doors of their Cosmonaut Hotel where they've, where they've been staying in Kazakhstan. Kate Rubens adding her signature here. We will be praying for you. We will be waiting. And then receiving a uh, special blessing from a priest here in Kazakhstan to you. Thank you very much. Give them good luck on their upcoming launch. Thank you. God preserve you. Around 2.35 p.m. Central Time, or 1.35 in the morning in Baikonur, the crew departed the Cosmonaut Hotel and boarded a bus for the ride to the integration and suit-up facility at Building 254 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Takuya Onishi there waving to the crowd along with Kate Rubens standing next to him. And there's Anatolia Venetian. Everything will be fine. Crew arrived at Building 254 around 3.20 p.m. Central Time, or 2.20 a.m. in Baikonur. Each crew member underwent final medical exams, then suited up in their so-called launch and entry suits. The suits were pressurized to ensure the integrity of their seals. Uh, the actual suit-up activities began around 4.05 p.m. Central Time today, or 3.05 a.m. in Baikonur, about four and a half hours prior to launch. Anatoly Ivanishin here getting uh, suited up in his Sokol suit. I read you loud and clear. How me? Could you repeat it again? I read you loud and clear. Yes, please. All three crew members visible here. Kate Rubens on the far left of the screen with Anatoly Ivanishin in the center and Takuya Onishi on the right.
Once the suit of activities were completed and the pressure in the suits was verified to be airtight, the crew prepared to depart for the launch pad. From behind a protective pane of glass to maintain their quarantine status, the crew spoke to various Roscosmos, NASA, and JAXA managers, as well as with friends and family. This is the last chance for the crew to talk with everyone before they head out to the launch pad, and it's a chance for each of them to relax a little bit while the others are going through their leak checks. Anatoly Ivanish in there again going first, followed by Takuya Onishi. Kate Rubens here, going through her leak check in her Sokol launch and entry suit. members here gathering behind that protective pane of glass for a last chance to talk with their friends and family members as well as uh, managers from the various space agencies represented represented at this launch. Well, right now it should be as good as uh, lending. Yes, that happens. Stars, I had no idea. 
I would like to wish you successful flight to the ISS. And you have a very intense flight program, but you know what to do. And I have confidence you will make it happen. And we're looking forward to your successful return. And along uh, with people who are going to work with you on the ground, we're wishing you all the best. OK. All the best. And all the folks that support you here on uh, on the earth, uh, we're all ready to support you and have a great expedition. Enjoy the space station. You'll be very busy. Uh, spend a good quality time looking down at the earth. Think about uh, how we can use this to do bigger and bolder things and move humans into the into the solar system. So again, thank you. Take great care of space station. We'll see you soon. That's Bill Gerstenmeyer, NASA's Associate Administrator for Human Exploration and Operations. Just before launch, uh, I think I'm sure you are all, you are all ready. So uh, do, do your best in space. Thank you. And with all of those preparations behind them, the crew then left uh, Site 254, getting one last chance to walk out and wave goodbye to their uh, friends and family who have gathered to watch the launch. To chairman of the Grand Commission, the crew is ready for lunch. We accept your report. Crew members boarded this bus around 5.35 p.m. Central Time or 4.35 a.m. in Baikonur for the ride to Launch Pad 1. That drive takes about 25 minutes, and that put them in place at the pad at uh, 6 p.m. Central Time or 5 a.m. in Baikonur. Soyuz crew ready for lunch. Kate Rubin's there walking with uh, Bill Gerstenmeyer, again, the admin uh, Associate Administrator for Human Exploration and Operations at NASA. Next to him, uh, Kirk Shireman, the Program Manager for the Space Station. After waving goodbye at the pad, the crew uh, board an elevator for the ride to the top of the Soyuz rocket where they board their capsule. They've been on board, the, on board the Soyuz now for about an hour and a half, and the Soyuz rocket was fueled about three hours prior to launch. <laughs> 